Shifting focus to the United States, where legal trouble for former U.S. President Donald Trump seems to be unending. On Tuesday, Trump returned to the courtroom. He appeared in a New York court to attend the proceedings of a civil fraud trial. The allegations against Trump in the front run of the front run in the 2024 presidential elections it circles around Trump inflating his net worth to secure more favorable loan terms. The lawsuit filed by New York attorney Letitia James, General Letitia James, accuses Trump of illegally reaping millions of dollars of savings, overstating the value of his properties and documents he provided to banks. Trump and two of his sons, along with their company, were found liable for fraud in September in the civil suit. The trial is now proceeding on several other charges, including falsification of business records and conspiracy. We have other banks coming in saying the same thing. We look at great companies with a lot of cash, a lot of great assets. They're some of the greatest real estate assets anywhere in the world. But it's really been an honor to have built it. So we work hard with my family. And my children are involved in this. And they, should, they don't deserve to be involved in this. This is the one done by a radical lunatic attorney general. They shouldn't be allowed to be an attorney general. It's horrible. And it's very unfair. We don't get a jury trial. There's no jury. We don't have any chance. Somebody said we could have checked the box or something. We don't check the box. This is a statute that was never used before, never once used before for anything like this. I'm the first one. Isn't that destructive? Isn't that nice? And I should be in Iowa now. I should be in New Hampshire now. I should be in South Carolina now or someplace else. Campaigning. The good news is we're about 60 points up on everybody and we're leading Biden by 11. And that's why they're doing this, because this is all coming out of Washington. Uh, the judge is going to make a decision. Now, the judge, I've got the respected judge, the judge, the judge, the judge, the judge, but it's not fair because. However, Trump has denied wrongdoings and has defended the valuations of his properties. Calling the case a fraud, he verbally attacked both James and the judge supervising the case. The lawsuit is seeking at least $250 million in fine and a permanent ban against Trump and his sons Donald Jr. and Eric from running businesses in New York. This includes a five-year commercial real estate ban against Trump and the Trump Organization. close to six million dollars. We will. We will. We'll go to Disneyland. How do you feel now? Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.